so this is a warlock interesting short uh so here today we are the 21st as you see in the details of this 21st 909 a.m so after all close to a week i can't say for sure but uh, more than five days i stayed home so i had to get some uh buy some stuff go to the store water bread a few other things and this is what happens now this is what i filmed and I'll explain now. I took out the volume. But see, I'm trying to say, where do I fit? Because, well, how unlucky am I? I go out and there's a truck block, block, blocking my... <laughs> now, look at that guy. You, you can see it's a bit... I don't know if it's if you want to call it suspicious. But look at the look. Like, they're there and they're moving, right? And what, what are they doing there? What is that truck doing there? Does, the guys look. There's like two of them. The guy in the truck and the guy looking at him. So, okay, so that's the date. And then we see this one. Now, why did I put this one? Because you see where, like, this is from my building. See? The truck is no longer there. And this is where the truck turned into. Now, even if, let's see, I was walking directly. He could have just doubled back and turned towards me, but he was checking at what speed I was walking. When he saw that I noticed him and I stopped behind my stairs, he didn't come right away because I'm going to explain to you now. Okay, this is the second details. It's about 40 minutes later, 9.47 a.m. So this is the second video I did. And I show you where that there was no work going on, no trucks anymore, nobody working in the back of my window from my building. This is the scene from my building. So you see there's no work going on, right? And you see the details. I'll show again, just for proof. See, 9.47 a.m. And we see this other video. Beautiful autumn leaves, Montreal, 9.09 a.m. So why, why am I showing you this? Because what I didn't film is more important than what I filmed. And I don't know if you would have done the same procedure. So I'm just reporting to you. And as much as other things that I... I sort of can't prove that, you know, well, some I could prove a little bit, the marks on my body and the, the reasons why, the police, obviously. So what do you think that truck did when I put down my phone here at this point when the phone wasn't recording? it? From there, as soon as I put down my phone, you see the truck where it is. It zoomed back and came directly towards me. At I don't know if it was full speed because I've never been in situations where I've been chased with people with cars. I don't want to say at what point I said somebody wanted to. So cars tried to run you over or vehicles, but maybe like police or vehicles that I thought like it happened with snow snowmobiles. I was crossing just where that truck was and there was one coming this way. And even ambulances recently, they passed by me very fast when I was trying to cross to this side of the street, to the side where you see the what you see here that I'm filming, but on the sidewalk, obviously. And it happened with ambulances in the, a few months ago that they doubled back even to make sure they were passing while I was there to make sure they knew that I, they were trying to bother me and not go to a real emergency. And this guy in the truck, he was pretending after he was looking at me because I stopped filming and then I moved fast on the sidewalk because to avoid him because I didn't know which way he was going to go, if it was more towards that street or towards where I was walking towards the mall or whatever, you know, to cross near the mall. So what did I do? I, I looked at him and said, what do you, like the guy goes, oh, I'm doing my job. So, okay. So you people think it's a coincidence, but he came at me and he saw that I was still trying to cross because when I saw him blocking everywhere, I go, Can, is there a hole where I could go by and cross on the other side? It would have been still sort of legal, but not from the middle of the street. But I was in the middle of the street to see the space but he came at me full blast. But I'm sure if I would have been walking on the sidewalk, he would have pretended he was turning towards that little spot that I showed you that he had to like move the ground. But he didn't do anything. After 40 minutes, you saw the work he did. Zilch. I didn't film it before. But the, after 40 minutes, a truck like that, and there would have been other personnel in the back doing some kind of work. It's Monday, right? Oh, people could say, even if right now I want to be devil's advocate. Okay, so there was a... A bad communication, the guy came there, but it was tomorrow. It was uh, Tuesday or whatever, or later this afternoon. I don't hear any construction. See, I could even go now while I'm filming, but I don't want to go out there again near my door to get... So you see, I'm living this. I'm living uh, the smells of pesticides. Not only the smell that it affects my health, and it's sometimes almost constant. And 
I don't, like I said, I don't claim to know what they're going to decide to do, but was this a message? The guy even, like I was telling him, why are you trying to like pretend that you're going to run me over? Because if I wasn't going to move from the street, he came so fast. He was in a rush when he was stalling there. I was waiting. I don't know if you could see here. Uh, anyways, I'm giving too many details. It's hard to explain. But if you were in my place, you wouldn't. I was waiting here, like the part over here of the sidewalk. And he was just not moving. As soon as I started walking and I was trying to figure out where to, where to cross there because he was blocking the space and it's dangerous going, like he was blocking my path completely. Just like they blocked me from seeing my friends. They blocked me from receiving emails. They blocked me from paying with my uh, guichet card. Today I didn't use it because I didn't want to get upset. I just used the cash. But this is what I mean. They do anything to make sure my life is stressed. So... Why did the guy come full blast towards me? But it's a coincidence. He didn't mean to run me over or he wasn't trying to run me over, right, police? So this is what I mean. Things like this, if there would have been construction going on, if he would have moved even a little bit slow and then sort of if I would have gone on the street, it would have looked at no, but he came where I was. I'm sure if I was on the sidewalk, he was going to pretend he was trying to park or do a, a maneuver there to try to intimidate me. And when I looked him in the eye and said, what the F? I said, what are you doing? And then I pointed at the head saying, you know what you're doing. I, I, not that I called him crazy. I just said, you know what you're doing. And I pointed at my, I, you know, I'm not good with sign language. <laughs> but I'm saying it now, please, if you, if you, I know, not if you sent him. I know you paid him to do that. See, that's how confident I am. Do I have proof of it? No. What do people think? Isn't it weird that there's no construction going on, but that guy and I have my neighbor showing that that guy was speeding. I don't want to say what kind of speed, but faster than just when there's people, faster than he should have gone in a legal way when there's people walking. You slow down and you beep or you warn him. He didn't even beep and he didn't even warn me. He was coming towards me. So this, just like my friend and just like the ambulances did, just like my P38 neighbor when he, and he went fast, he didn't really come on the sidewalk. But he, that's what I'm trying, I don't lie. So that's why I'm saying that was at best intimidation or threat. At best. A police. So be happy that I'm reporting only seven minutes. I had made a longer one, but it was not necessary. And it was too, I don't want to say, it, it was not, it was some pete repet. So I've done enough long videos. I think seven minutes is enough. So like that, if, if in case they block the video, I don't spend a lot of money. Good vibes. This has been the 21st, uh, the first time in a week that I go out, and that's my experience. So if you people think it's a coincidence, dream on, dream on. If you would have been in my place, you And then again, like I say, what are the odds that there's a false call to a truck that's supposed to work, and then there's no work, meaning it's a false call, but he's still moving at full speed where I'm walking. <laughs> come on, people. Just like those ambulances. And then I say, hey, come on. I was a fit expert. Like a dog bark. And they came back. Crazy, immature behavior. But enjoy it. And if you, that's why I'm, I'm making this video. Just like the products. If I should die from some heart attack or stroke, it's 90% sure. Even if it's not only them, they had a lot to do with it because I feel my body's stressed now. Even if they would stop forever, which I doubt. <laughs> I doubt very much. So let's say if I ever get into a vehicle accident, whether it's a car, or a city vehicle, an emergency vehicle, a, a, a construction truck, a snow truck, like it already happened. What this guy did today, it happened with snow, snow trucks. Though. And they saw me even filming and they kept going. At whatever speed they were going. I'm not saying they accelerated full speed. I don't even know what full speed is on those big ginormous things, thingamajigs. So good vibes. I hope you, you love the kind of life I have. Warlock's continuing uh, utopia in Montreal. <laughs> Montreal, Warlock's utopia. Good vibes. Yes, I'm being sarcastic. <laughs> like, share, and think of me when I won't be there. <laughs> because it, it's like... Just to tell you, there's no way I could protect myself. I'm not being like, if I'm being comical and positive is because what's the point of being negative? And, and, and trust me, I had to work hard to, to meditate, to be like this way in these situations. <laughs> so all I could tell you is uh, this is the real thing that, what, that they're trying to intimidate. See, if I would say right now, for sure that truck wanted to run me over, I would be lying because I think if they wanted to... I don't know if they wanted to go physical, they would already have done it. But just saying, if they decide to go that way, if there's some kind, 
trust me, it's not an accident. <laughs> Whatever accident happens with me, it's not an accident. So police, you, you, you made it so I have to make this video. So just like the other videos when you follow me too much. And just like this one, if people think it's aliens doing that, well, uh, then, they're, then they're the ones that are delusional. Or <laughs> I'm not saying that I don't believe in aliens. I just doubt that it's aliens doing these uh, uh, at the same time near my door or buy papers from Apopex or uh, anyways. So good vibes. I think you get it that I'm trying to joke around to make it more entertaining for people that bother with my uh, seeing my videos or get inspired by them or get prepared to what kind of society is going to be. Oh, and by the way, just to remind people, from what I saw in the news, I won't say which channel because I don't want to... Paulier backed up a rule that said that... Well, never mind the ones Trudeau backed up. He created them. <laughs> Your kids right now, under 18, if the doctor decides they need meds, they're getting them. So what's the difference from uh, in the future pandemic us being forced to walk a certain way because of what they say or even take a certain product or medication or vaccine? And they say, oh, yeah, inmates too. So what are the odds that if I'd be in another evaluation, they can't force medication on me? The odds are more that they could because they could do what they want. It's like they're showing me, even run me over and make it look like an accident. Of course they could do it. And this was what I'm telling you the message was. Now, will they actually do it? I don't know what the corrupt laws are, because within the corrupt laws, we still have limits here in Canada and the States, I think. But how long? Because the elites are starting to control more and more and more. Before, Bill C-63 would have been scrapped in the garbage 20 years ago. We know that. it would. Have, that's why I, I add, by the way, that uh, CC, whatever, Canadian Foundation, something like that, they, they tried in the past things like that, and they got... But now they got accepted. I wonder what, how much payments. Huh? <laughs> People, if they get a croissant, they get a $600 ticket for tying their dog two minutes to a pole. That has nothing to do with traffic or people. So this is what I'm trying to say. It's ridiculous the laws they're permitting to print out there. Bill C-63 is a criminal law. See, you don't have to believe the, the incredible stories, even though I have proof of them like as much as is possible. You don't have to even... Bill C-63 is proof enough, this new bill, that your kids are going to be forced meds. Is this a country you want to promote like this? Or do you want to challenge the powers that be, the powers that are not, the powers that should not be? Nobody that has passed Bill C-63 or had anything to do with that or whatever police do to me or Apopex or the new bill that forces medication on your kids. People, this is not only about a truck and me having a hallucination that he was there to scare me. Oh, I'm scared. I know they could kill me. Duh. Duh. That's how you know I'm, uh, I'm, I'm not delusional. But how is it going to look? And even though, even though it doesn't matter, the karma, of course, you don't believe in karma. Hopefully you don't. And hopefully, it, it, I don't think it's less just because you don't believe. Even if I don't believe my life is screwed, that I'm, I'm totally out of, I have no control over even my email, and even my bank card. And these are the facts now. It's not waiting for a future. People say, too, it's going to be the credit system. They're going to control your bank, your this. They already are doing it for people like me. I'm a special uh, in initiatory. I'm a special uh, experimental stage. <laughs> Good vibes. Like, subscribe, share. Uh, like I said, all I could do is express truth and love and say I forgive them, but I, I don't, I'm not so sure the karma will. Because karma does not forgive. Karma is the energy that does not feel. It's the energy that, just like what they're doing to me, they don't care about how much I'm suffering. Well, karma is the same. It's giving you back. It will, and it probably has. Just that you're not saying it. <laughs> That's how sure I am. Good vibes. Namaste.